everyone, I'm Emily Shea, and this is my assistant Hannah. Hello! And today we're going to be teaching you guys how to make magnetic slime. Yay! Making magnetic slime requires three main ingredients. Glue, borax, and iron filings. Making magnetic slime also requires some other additional materials. This includes plastic or styrofoam cups to develop our slime in, glue, which can be Elmer's School glue, or we've also got color changing glue here to show you guys how to make a color changing magnetic slime later. A cup of warm water, borax, which can be bought at any nearby or local grocery store. And then we've also got iron filings here, which is gonna be our magnetic powder. And this is the ingredient that is going to make our slime magnetic. We've also got food coloring, which can be used to um, color your slime or glitter to make it super sparkly and shiny, just for fun. And we've also got small magnetic buttons here to test the magnetic powder of our slime once we've completed making it. Okay, so for today's magnetic slime, we're going to need to measure out our slime. That's our first step. And so we're going to measure out five fluid ounces of glue into a small um, styrofoam or plastic cup. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, first step completed. Our next step is to measure a tablespoon of borax. Now we go to the sink and get some hot water. After measuring these two ingredients out, we're going to combine them together and mix thoroughly until the borax is entirely dissolved. Okay, while we're letting our borax solution sit, we're going to start to color our slime. So today, Hannah shows the colors blue and uh, silver sparkles <laughs> or glitter. So we're gonna start mixing this together into our cup of glue. We're gonna start by adding three drops of glue, food coloring. And we're gonna mix these together thoroughly and before adding the glitter in. Once you've got a consistently colored um, glue solution or glue mixture, we're gonna now add in the silver sparkles. So. Or glitter. Or glitter, yeah. All right, go ahead and start mixing that. And whoa, look at that. Very pretty. Okay, now that we've finished mixing our food coloring and our glitter into our glue, now our slime is ready to be made. Okay, so now we're gonna start actually making our slime. So to start, we recommend wearing gloves if you have any um, allergies to borax or if you just wanna keep your hands clean and avoid a big mess. So um, we're gonna pipette uh, about Three, two to three milliliters of our borax solution in at a time into our glue until we reach a nice slime consistency and feel that it is safe enough to remove the slime from the plastic container. Okay, so once you feel it's appropriate to remove your slime solution from the plastic container, um, you can do so, and you should, your slime should have a consistency, um, something around the consistency of this. So, 
Now, as you can see, we've got a blue and, uh, and glittery slime, which is now at a um, consistency appropriate for adding the magnetic powder. Okay, so next we're going to make our slime magnetic. So we're going to take our ingredient, the iron filings, which is this container right here. Um, this is what's going to make our slime magnetic. And uh, I purchased this at a, you can purchase this at a Walmart, but it's rarely in store. So we had to pre-order it online. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to measure out about a tablespoon of this into a plastic container and get ready to mix it thoroughly into the slime through folding and twisting. We have to slowly pour the magnetic powder or iron filings on top of our slime and then mix it thoroughly throughout by um, using a technique called folding. Next, we're gonna test the magnetic um, power of our slime. So we're gonna do that by using these magnetic buttons that we showed you earlier in our when we were introducing the ingredients and these stronger magnets. So using the stronger magnet magnets, when we hover them over our slime, we're, we see that the slime is immediately attracted and there is a strong attraction, um, there's a strong connection between the magnets and the iron filings that we uh, mixed into our slime. So this proves that there is a, that the, that our slime is magnetic and hence it is working. But to further test um, the magnetic power of our slime, we can also use these magnet, small magnetic buttons. And if we put them right there, they should be able to hang from any um, direction we hold our slime, including sideways and upside down. So as you can see, the magnetic buttons are sticking and this shows that there is um, a strong magnetic connection between our, mag our magnetic slime that we made and the magnetic power of the magnets that we had used to test this. Uh, depending on how many, how, on what quantity of iron filings you use or the magnitude of the magnets, there, can, there, there will be a stronger attraction between the both uh, objects or substances and um, you will be able to perform certain tricks with the slime, including using the magnet to move it in certain directions and um, just and having the magnet swallowed up by the slime. Overall, that's it, and thank you for watching.